Alright then, it's time to review Future Stars Conor Gallagher, who of course is only available via swaps tokens, and I've actually had to complete all these swaps on two different accounts to actually do this video, so if you could leave like rating on it, that would be very much appreciated. Anyway, let's get these swap tokens submitted, and let's get this guy in the club. So while I'm doing this, in the comments below, I want to hear from you guys. What are you actually going for from Swap Tokens, the Future Stars version? Are you just going for simply packs, or have you got your eyes on some players? Or are you going for the big player pick pack? Alright, so this is the team he's going to be playing in. We're not on my account. My team is nowhere near as good as this. We're on my friend Deans' account, so thanks to him for letting me use it. I did have to unlock all the tokens myself, though, so that was, you know, a long long past few weeks, especially last night when I was doing the squad battles objectives. Anyway, this is his item. Pretty good card. High high wear crates, four star weak foot, six foot tall, and all the stats on his card being above 80. No traits to discuss, but in regards to those in-game stats, what is there to like? Obviously, the pace for a midfielder is nice in general, but you will notice instantly there is a big pace split. Um, shooting for a mid, obviously really good, especially with the shot power and long shots, both being around the 90 stat. Passing looks great. Vision, short passing and long passing, all above 90. Fantastic to see. And the dribbling, bit more of the same. A very good ball control and reaction stat, and a 91 rating for in-game dribbling. And then for defending and physical, it's just a bit more of the same. I will say that I don't think his physicals are insane, but they're still looking pretty damn nice. So here's his item on Footbin with a basic. He is actually a 94 rated centre mid, which, you know, is pretty damn good. Uh, I don't think we can actually get him any higher rated than that. But anyway, what chem style are we going to use on him? Now, I think a lot of people are going to go for Shadow, and I wouldn't disagree with that at all. But I'm kind of thinking Anchor might actually be quite beneficial because of the plus 10 in strength and especially because of the role that he's going to end up playing for most people because people aren't going to use this guy as a cam. He's either going to be a centre mid or as a DM. So I just think that strength boost could actually be really nice. But obviously with the shadow, you do um, get obviously a bigger pace boost, but you've still got the pace split between. So yeah, I, I think Anker overall is going to benefit him, especially that strength um, upgrade. It is also worth mentioning alternatively if you wanted a bit more of a dribbling boost on him engine could be a good option once again the pace comes up the passing comes up nicely too and obviously you get you know a pretty good uh, dribbling boost as well so if you want him more as an attacking centre mid that could be a good choice too. What will we face in oh what a weird team he's got a team of the year Ruben Diaz in there but the rest of the team is pretty average and it's free at the back. Get some odd teams in champs don't you? Chance. Oh, I just couldn't get out of his feet quick enough, but he's done really well to win the ball back. Oh, great goal. I, I was worried about that shot. The ball animation looked a bit weird to me, so I was a bit worried, but I'm very, very happy it found the back of the net. Chance now. Gallagher goes long, great through ball to put Ginola into a bunch of space. And off of that, we will score a third. This is definitely game over. And following that goal, we did get a quick rage quit. Three assists for Ginola, pretty good outing from him. Gallagher also performed very, very nicely in that matchup. We go again, and another weird team. This is a pretty good one, though. Plenty of good players. Hopefully, he's not going to play five at the back in game. Nice. Does well to skip past one. Puts the ball through for Mbappe. Nice, good intercept, well read. Had to get that ball out of there, it was really, really concentrated. Chance to deliver to the back stick, Gallagher's there, oh just puck it home lad! Oh, nice tackle there, is it a foul? No, foul against us. Let's switch play again, nice ball once more, finds. Do you know that I went for the early one because I saw the goalkeeper off his line, but wasn't the best move. Okay, all square at half time at 1 1. Gallagher oh, yeah. into Mbappe, hits it first time. Oh, that would have been a really nice goal. Nice, Gallagher closing down from the corner. Nice tackle off to kick off, wouldn't it? Here we go then. Just to break from the corner. I have to be careful there because I thought Mbappe was offside. 
from the corner. There is a big chance to whip this in to hold it at the back stick. Oh, it's the post. Nice. Good possession there. Got to be careful on the edge of the box not to go too aggressive with Waz. Easy penalty. Oh, good link up. Back on side. Chance. Obviously, very aggressive defending from the opposition. Balls into the box. Can we end it here? Yes, we can. Great play from Gallagher and a very, very tidy finish there from Ginola to end the game. The corner to defend. Gallagher does well. And there's full time. 3 2 victory in this one. Close game. Um, obviously, not too easy to break down the opposition's defence, but we got the goals and uh, in the end, come away with the points too. Thought Gallagher went really well in that game, helping link up the full attack and uh, yeah, just being a bit of a nuisance to be honest. Defensively solid and also offensively really effective too in that particular matchup. Okay then, on debut we come up against this. Nice little hybrid of sorts, let's see what happens. Gallagher switches play with a nice pass into Genoa. Pull it, fires it into Gallagher, touch isn't the best but... Going to try and make something of it. Gets the ball inside to George Best and I just couldn't get the shot away as crisp as I would have liked. Nice. Good intercept there. Gallagher backtracking. Nice. All positioned. Covering for Vieira there. Get to that. Oof. Oh, I did well to reach out and win it, but then Hull just couldn't get there in time. Gallagher goes to switch player. Left-footed ball, but... That one does not quite end up where we want it to, but you know what? On another day, that bounce could have been favourable. Oh, what what animation is happening there? I mean, we've come over, we haven't come over the ball. The ball is ping ponging, but what happened there? All oh, right, that'll do us then. We've had a few games now with this Conagher Gallagher. All right, that'll do us then. We've had a few games now with this Conor Gallagher item. It's time to talk about how this card performs in matches and ultimately, is he worth submitting nearly all of your tokens to get? And I'll tell you straight away, don't worry, no time being wasted. Is this guy worth submitting 20 tokens for? I have to say no. Um, there are just so many good Premier League options available and I just think those tokens could be better spent on, honestly, the packs and just... Just put that fodder towards, you know, a better SPC. Now, I'm not saying this card is bad because it's really, really not. It's actually a very good card, especially technically. But I, I do think there are better already available in the game. So, honestly, it could come down to, like, how your team is looking. Obviously, if you're running with a Premier League themed side, you might be considering this guy. And it might just depend on your budget. Like, can you afford to buy some top tier midfielders? And if not, maybe this is a card worth considering. But honestly, if, you know, you're flush with coins, I think there are just better alternatives for you. That being said, let's still break this card down. What did I like about it? Honestly, the passing was class. Um, obviously, the five star, uh, four star, sorry, weak foot helps with that distribution was really, really nice, whether it be over a long or short distance. So that was obviously really, really good to see. I also thought his shooting for a midfielder was to a very good standard, especially in that shot power department. So another pleasing area. In regards to defensive abilities, his interception rate is really, really nice and his tackling really isn't that bad. Is he, you know, a top tier defensive player? No, but he's still decent, especially with the right chem style applied as well. So, yeah, there is that. Would I use him as a lone DM? No, but can he work in a two nicely? Absolutely. So, there is that. Finally, uh, well, not final actually, physically is up next. I've got to say, I feel like the strength boost was needed, so I do feel like I made the right choice with the Anker Chem style. Um, and even with the Anker Chem style, to be fair, he still didn't feel super strong, but uh, it definitely did help him, in my opinion. I'm obviously a fan of the stamina. He ran for 90 minutes with ease, um, even with those high high work rates, which obviously he does possess. Now, let's talk about some other areas of his game. How was his dribbling? Not too bad, to be fair. He's definitely not, you know, super agile. You're not going to go on incredible run runs with him on regular occasions. But I still didn't think he was too bad on the ball. And uh, definitely can uh, put in a decent 10 now and then. The problem was it just, you know, wasn't super consistent. So, another thing to consider. Especially if you've got, you know, a dribbling heavy player type. But that was to be expected with him obviously being six foot and having that average body type which he does possess the last thing i do want to talk about um in regards to just these stats on the screen is obviously his pace the pace split is definitely noticeable it is going to take him a yard or two to actually get to his max speed so do be aware of that and because of that 
his like ability to like react to situations does feel a little bit limited because obviously if someone runs past him this guy isn't going to get to his max speed straight away he's going to need a yard or two to catch him and by that time if it's someone like an Mbappe he could be gone so the pace work can be you know a little bit frustrating that is for sure but yeah in terms of like technical stats it is actually a pretty good card but in terms of in-game um, ability the only thing that like held it back for me to be honest was like He's like reactivity, if that makes sense. Like his just reaction to situations was just a little bit slow. And that was, wasn't just when running, that was also sometimes when letting go of a pass or a shot. So yeah, just a couple of things to note there. But still, all in all, I do think it is a good card. I just can't really advise people to submit 20 tokens into it when I just think the packs are better value. That's just my personal opinion though. But if you need a Premier League centre mid, definitely card consider because it's still, you know, a pretty high level card as we're about to discuss. Now, when we did the Winter Wildcards tokens, obviously a few weeks ago and that Dakar was available I tried that Dakar out and I thought it was fantastic and I actually regretted not getting him on my main account I don't think I'm going to regret not getting this Gallagher on my main account um, this time round now in terms of like out and out CM options for the Premier League there obviously is some really really premium cards up here at the top but they're obviously not going to be too cheap um, but like like as an out and out you know centre mid uh, like an all rounder He's a pretty good option. He really, really is. I would uh, consider him over quite a few cards, to be honest. As a DM, um, I think he can do a really good job there, like I say, but I still wouldn't play him over a Kante, especially in a lone DM role. And as a Cam, there are just a far, far many better options. So... As I say, if you need a out-and-out -out centre mid, just a centre mid is a card worth considering. But if you're looking for a cam or CDM, there just are better options available in my opinion. So that is my verdict on this 89 rated Gallagher item. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments if you have tried him out. And if you have tried him out, obviously you've submitted your tokens. So let me know, are you pleased with your choice or do you regret it? Guys, also in the comments below, let me know which other future stars players you want to see a video on. Uh... Currently, a bunch of them are extinct, which is interesting, so I'll do my best. Let me know in the comments who you want to see. Obviously, there is also Fring Pong available from these swaps. And I'll try to get that video out for you tonight. Do you want to see the right mid one or the right back one? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.